Hey guys, I uh, was not planning for this video to be such a good video as it's gonna be. I just wanted to give you guys an update that I just released the Gun Bunch Offset ebook. This is a huge announcement for me. It's over on jtips.net. It's the best ebook I ever put together. And you will see it in this video. I'm playing Nas Swerve, if you guys remember from last year. Uh, I played him. He's a really good player. <laughs> just hands down, he's a really good player. He runs the bunch of offense. He's got some good defense. He's a top 100 player in head-to-head -head seasons right now. That's how much he played the game. Uh, he's a top 100 player in weekend league pretty much any week that he completes. Uh, so, yeah, this is just going to be a great game against uh, between two great players. Now, I'm not going to hype myself up too much because... I just don't want to do that. At some points, it, it feels weird to me. But the ebook that I just released is the best ebook that I ever put together. And I, I've see, I've heard a lot of people talk about gun bunch ebooks around the community. Some friends buy those of mine. They say they give me some feedback. Oh, I like this office. I gotta say, from everything that I, he I heard, I showed this to some friends of mine. They say the best ebook all over in Man 21. I mean, Man 21. My bad, Man 22. You guys definitely are gonna enjoy this. I put the link to jtips.net in the description. Read the picture over there. And once you read that, tell me you're not going to be excited. Please check it out. I'm not forcing you to buy it. You can still catch some of my streams on Twitch where you will see me run this offense. You can still catch some of my YouTube videos where I'll show this offense in some gameplays. But to get the full inside information, to get the, the full in-depth analysis of this formation, go over jtips.net. Best money you can spend on Madden this year. I promise you that. It'll be updated. It's... I'm so proud of this. This is my baby. But yeah, enough gloating. Let's now talk about the game. I'll break it down in a second. Such an amazing game. Uh, stick stick until the end. Uh, you won't don't want to miss it. Uh, but yeah, I'm just rambling. I'm misspeaking. Let's just get into the footage. As I already said in the intro, I was not planning on make uploading this video today. I, I didn't think I was gonna play Swervo. He's he, if you guys guys don't know, I made a video about playing Swervo last year. He's a really good player. And at this point, I'm scared because he's running Bunch. I have no idea how to stop Bunch. This is not Gun Bunch Offset. As speaking of Gun Bunch, he throws uh, Speaking of Gun Bunch Offset, I just released my Gun Bunch Offset ebook over on jtips.net. As he just keeps throwing his cross, I was just too bad to use it. Uh, and you will see it's a killer offense. I'm. I'm very good this game on offense. I feel like I was very efficient. I did what I had to do. Uh, that's right. He just punched it in with kill located. So that was that was less than spectacular. I will, I will say by me that was pretty terrible defense. But what can you do? This is such an offensive game. So I don't even sweat it. You'll know that you'll get points. Especially if you get my offense. It's going to be over there. $20. Best $20 you can spend this year I think on Madden. Because this scheme is just way too good as we bunch it outside uh, with Christian McCaffrey. And what I know against Swervo is that I have to be smart clock management wise. Because even though I think I'm good at, good at offense, I think Swervo, he might just be better than me. And for that exact reason, I'm going to be trying to trying my best to limit his possessions. Now, if I can score that quickly, then I will. But I just have to be aware of the clock situation and just play it smart. I missed the PAT though, which is not that smart. And I'm down one point, uh, and I just keep, I just refuse to guard this crosser. I'm not, it's, it's, it's annoying me even watching it back. It's right there, man. It up because he has double me already. Just doesn't guard it. That's I, I gotta know that. I gotta play better defense right there. These drives can't be that easy. It's right there. That's a three play drive. I'm, I, I feel stupid watching it back. Gotta be better than that. As he makes his PAT now, he's up eight points. That's. That's actually really, really annoying should this game come down to the wire and I'm in a bad position because I missed that PAT. So guys, focus on your PATs. They're so important this year. Uh, as right there, I try to release the tight end. He just doesn't release. And at this point, I'm like, oh my god. Not, no, not this spot against this dude is right there. Oh my god, that was that was bad defense. Uh, bad, bad offense, my bad. Bad read. I'm like, not against this dude. I get sacked. I gotta find the groove like i gotta start playing better madness right there make a beautiful read to will fuller david has actually made a killer block right there i didn't even notice that but yeah 36 right here make this manageable beautiful strike to devin hester he gets knocked out of bounds so i feel a little bit better going back to the same route combination as it's just it's just wide open i i, I like this play very much it seems to attack his right side really really well as right there going for a little bit of a a little bit of a double post action. I'm running the Indianapolis playbook, by the way, as right there. Check it down to kill. Might be the best gun bunch offset in the game. There is a little bit of debate. Obviously, there always will be. 
But yeah, no, no doubt in my mind, come on, Schaf's the best offense right now. Go check it out on JTips. And it's third and 15. This is a huge play because I can't. Oh, that's, that's, that's such a steamer. Uh, I, I can't I can't go down uh, more than one point in this game because I just know Swervo is too good if he gets in the spot he, uh, to win the game. He's not going to give me another chance. He's going to be smart. He's going to take the clock with him. And I just can't let him not allow to do that. Allow him to do that. Okay. Uh, Crosser is open. He just gets just hit. And that's huge because now his uh, X Factor is off. It's right there. You can see me 30 yard uh, claw flats. And it actually does pay off. Beautiful pick. That was huge. That was huge because I was in a very, very bad situation. If he. Oh my god. <laughs> Such a scary read. Uh, I'm in a very bad position if he scores that drive because then it's going to be difficult for me to catch up. It's right there. Going to throw it to the running back late out of the backfield. Good read by me. Just very, very patient. This time the running back was more open than the last play. First and 10 right here. Going to throw that crossing route. Uh, he doesn't get his feet in. Devin Hester needs to do that. He, he, he rarely gets his feet in. That's one thing that I've noticed. Uh, still a great receiver though because of his abilities. Right there, he gets out of bounds beautifully. This is huge. First and ten, I gotta score seven right here. In my mind, I gotta score seven because the thing is, I get the ball to start the second half, and if I get seven here, then I think this game is it's pretty much over. I, that's how I feel. So second and goal right here. I understand how huge this is. I have square. I missed it. I tried to slide, but this is scary, man. I almost fumbled that as run inside zone gets stuffed on the one yard line and. I just think this is so huge that I gotta go for it. It's in goal line. Gotta throw the toss and I just make it into the end zone. That's, he's just a little bit too fast. That Raheem Mostert, he's just too quick. He gets to the end zone and that's huge. Up six points now, could be up seven once again. But up six points, this is huge. I need to just not give up any points right here as I double, ma uh, double inverted my cover three. So there's no cover three beater. Man, that's scary with how people just get dunked on this year that's that's actually a very very scary play it's right here third uh third third and what third quarter i missed that two minutes 56 seconds i'm trying to be methodical right here i want to take time off the clock i want to make sure to get points though that's huge so i just gotta still play some good offense it's right there gonna throw it to mccaffrey very nice out of the backfield that out route is actually really killer cool. i'll break that down in the ebook one of my favorite routes this year is right there bad play call i mean that's just stupid i need to block the tight end there i know what blitz is coming in. and you see right here next play of course i'll block the tight end because don't make the same mistake twice but whew, once again a tight read i feel like that's i feel like that's open uh, with I feel like okay fourth and twelve right here. Oh my god, what a steamer! What an absolute steamer! Um, I feel like corner was open, so I don't think it was that bad of read. But man, it did it look close? <laughs> it looked so close. As I'm at the forty yard line right here, I think I think this is a good spot. I like my chances to win this game. Once I was at this point, I was like, okay, I'm gonna take it to the fourth. I really like my chances. I think I'm in a good spot. First and ten, I get absolutely rocked, dude. Come on, stop that. That was horrible. But because I'm unconservative, he wasn't all that tired, weirdly enough. It's third inches. Just keep it simple, keep it on the ground, move the sticks, and you can see he's in a really desperate situation. It's right there. Get popped again. He's calling his timeouts because he needs that time. And he needs me to get a first down unless he won't respect my abilities with this game. That's third and six right here. This is huge. Got the tight end delay manned up. And right there, he just, he just gets kicked down to the wrong guy and runs away from me. And yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. This was an amazing game. I love Swervo. His links in the description. He streams on Twitch. He's a good dude. Go follow him on Twitter. Uh, but yeah, make sure to go check out the ebook. Such a good ebook. I'm so happy with this offense. Best ebook I ever did. I've ever done, my man. Uh, so yeah. Definitely worth the 20 bucks if I had any to spare. Till next time, goodbye, guys. Appreciate you guys so much for the support. Uh, see you tomorrow.